everyone, so today I'm going to be filming my what I got for Christmas video and I was attempting to film this on Boxing Day but that somehow didn't happen and I have tried to film this multiple times since. I'm now filming this on the 7th of January which I know is a little bit late but everyone's still been asking me to film this video so I thought I'd get around to it and do it. Just to say I might not have everything here I got for Christmas because for the reason that this is about two weeks after Christmas and just for the reason that this is very nearly two weeks after Christmas so I don't quite know if I've got everything here. I think I've got most of the stuff and the most important things. So yes, what I've done is I've separated them into categories. So I've got presents from my nana granddad, I've got presents from my brothers, and then I've got presents from my mum and dad. I'm not going to show all the presents I've got, I'm just going to kind of show the main ones and ones I've actually still got here. Um, so yes, let's get around to it. So I'm going to start off with what I got for my nana and granddad. So basically what my nana and granddad did is they brought us is they brought everyone for Christmas all little kind of like knickknacks and everything like that which they do every year which is really really nice and I love getting little knickknack kind of presents and also they gave us some money as well when I say us I mean my mum and dad and my brothers and me so yes I'm gonna get around to it I haven't got all the presents that they gave me because I don't know where some of them have gone but I'm sure I will find them so I've just remembered as well what I got for my nan and granddad including this stuff was also um, I got a pair of gloves a really 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 cute pair of gloves which somewhere I don't quite know where they've gone but I will find them. Um, I also got chocolates and I also got a set of lipsticks as well but they are all individually in my makeup collection so I'm not going to drag all them out I'm just going to show you the presents I've got here and then what I brought with the money they gave me as well. For anyone who's been watching my channel for a while my two favourite colours are lilac and dark purple or just purple in general that's my favourite colour so they brought me these two little things which will match my room really really well. This is just kind of like a little basket which I thought would go really 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 nice in my room with my makeup brushes in it or something like that. It's just a nice little present and also this one and this is a little jewellery holder which I thought is really 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 cute. So now I've moved over to the side so I can use this section here to show you guys what I actually brought and you don't have my face in the way or that in the way of my face. Yeah. I even got lip balm as well which is really really good but I'm always losing my lip balm so yes. Then with the money my nan and granddad gave me I picked up these three makeup sponges. If we can, there we go, focus. These three makeup sponges, these are by Makeup Gallery and these are all different shapes of makeup sponges. I thought I'd give them a try even though I got my Real Techniques one. Basically I picked up one of each different shape makeup sponges basically. The pink one's kind of like the Real Techniques one. One looks like a beauty blender, one looks like the Real Techniques makeup sponge and I don't quite know what this one looks like, this one just kind of looks like an ordinary makeup sponge. Um, but yes, there's them. So then I also picked up two Yankee candles and I just picked up the small jar ones because I've brought the medium and large jar candles to my room before and literally it makes my room smell so much it makes me go dizzy. So because I have quite a small room I guess you'd say. Like my room's kind of more like a cozy room and I have all my lights and everything like that. So because my room's kind of like the smaller room and I, I like it being the smaller room because I have all my lights around it's really really cute and really really nice. But having a large jar or medium jar candle makes my room stink. So I got the small jars and the first one I got is the Yankee Candle Snowflake Cookie. Which smells absolutely lovely. We've had this one before in the large jar. Um, and it's really, really, really nice. So I got that one. And I also brought the Yankee Candle Fireside Treats. Which is the first time I've actually brought this one. But it smells absolutely lovely and I really really love sweet candles so I also picked up that one. The normal candles I normally go for is strawberry summer scoop and strawberry shortcake um, but these two are really really sweet candles as well and I absolutely love these ones. So yes, there's them. So now I'm going to move on to the present I got from my little brother, um, my little brother Connor. I will link his channel in the description box below. He has a gaming channel and everything like that, so I'll link that in the description box below. But every single year, either for Christmas or my birthday, he's always brought me the Vampire Diaries. And this is the complete sixth season of the Vampire Diaries. And yes, it just looks like that. I haven't actually watched the Vampire Diaries too much, I may say. I've got a bit too caught up with watching Once Upon a Time and Pretty Little Lies on Netflix, which is a bit bad because The Vampire Diaries always used to be my favourite TV show um, but I'm definitely getting back into Vampire Diaries I'm definitely going to start watching it again I have finished watching Pretty Little Liars because I finished watching Once Upon a Time I'm then going to go back through and watch The Vampire Diaries so yes basically it just looks like that I've just took the slip cover off and then on the inside it looks like that so I will get around to watching that 
But he never fails, every year I can guarantee I will get the next season of The Vampire Diaries. So yes, I really really like that. So yes, there's that. So now I'll move on to the present I got from my brother Jamie. Now, he asked me what I wanted and I kind of knew a present that my mum and dad were getting me so I kind of hinted towards the way that I wanted something to go along with that. So then from my brother Jamie, I got something from Pandora, as you can see. Really, really cute. And I just love Pandora, I don't know why I love their packaging and I love their charms and their bracelets and the rings and everything. So basically, on in here, if I just open it up, like so, Basically, it comes in this little box which just says Pandora on the front and it is really really cute packaging as well and if I open it, there's nothing on the inside because I've got it on my wrist right now and it is a charm which I'll put in a close-up shot of now. So it is just a fairy on a toadstool charm which I really 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 love, it's really really cute and it kind of reminds me of Tinkerbell and I just really really love it. If you look at the fairy, you see she's on a toadstool. She's got her little dress and her hair's up in a bun and everything like that, it just reminds me of Tinkerbell but I really think it's really really cute and I really really love it. If you can see my bracelet I've kind of done around the theme of a fairy tale so as you see the other charms throughout the video you can kind of tell that's what I've aimed towards but it reminds me of Tinkerbell and I love fairies and everything like that so I really really love that. So now I'll move on to what I got from my mum and dad. I'd say quite a few presents I got early. From my mum and dad I got um my new phone which is a p8 which is an absolute brilliant phone and it is kind of like a iphone it does everything an iphone does apart from the fact it isn't an iphone but the thing is it's got gorilla glass on the front of it so if you drop the phone it's not likely to break so that's really really good because i always drop my phone god knows why i've always dropped my phone and i have broke i've never actually broke the screen of a phone but I've always broken kind of the corners or scratched it really really badly because I've dropped it. I've actually dropped my phone down the stairs and on concrete ground. So it's probably not very good for me to get an iPhone if they break. But that's like an iPhone. As well as I got a new TV for my room which is a smart TV. Me personally, I don't know too much about TVs. My dad picked it. My dad kind of found the right kind of TV and why I'm doing that is because it's over there near my bed for when I'm being lazy and watching TV. Basically it's got everything on it. I can watch YouTube, I can watch Netflix, I can watch TV. It's got everything like that on it. Which is really really nice, it's a smart TV, I know nothing about TV so I'm not going to go into it. And I wouldn't think most people watching this probably do, so yes, I got my new TV, which, yeah. So they were kind of like my main main presents from my mum and dad was my phone and my TV, so yeah. But the TV wasn't an early Christmas present, it's just a bigger Christmas present that I'm going to chuck in with a close up shot so I don't have to kind of fiddle around, because my TV's already been fit to my wall and it was on Christmas day. So I can't really get that down to show you, so I'll just put in a close up shot of it. Also, kind of for my mum and dad for an early Christmas present, um, my mum took me out shopping to go and buy a complete new outfit. So that consisted of, you know, um, brand new boots, jeans, blouse, um, quite an expensive coat, which is a black military coat, which I absolutely love it to pieces. So, so I'm also going to say, all I did ask for for Christmas when my mum asked me, and I don't know why I keep saying when my mum asked me, because the presents are for my mum and my dad. So all I did ask for for Christmas when my mum asked me, all I did ask for for Christmas was a new handbag, because for some reason I can never find a good handbag and I never buy one myself. Don't know why. And pyjamas, because I never seem to buy myself pyjamas either. So that's what I asked for, was a new handbag and pyjamas. The stuff I got, some of this stuff is a bit screwed up, some of it's been worn but I've washed it, I have washed them, and for some reason because I folded them up and put them in a the bag, because I folded them up to put them in a the bag so I could show you them, that's why they're a bit creased and everything like that, they did have all the tags on, they've since fell off, it's been very nearly two weeks but hey ho. So I will start off with pyjamas, now these came wrapped up really really nicely, they had a nice little bow around them and everything like that, but yes I got Harry Potter pyjamas which I absolutely love. So here's the top. As you can see, it's really, really nice. And it's kind of a very dark burgundy red. And I really, really love it. And then the back is just plain. And they have the same color red as the top does, but they're covered in stars, which look like that. There's them once. So then another pair of pajamas I got, I will show you the top first. This is what the top looks like, and it just says Total Princess. I'm not really too much of a Disney Princess kind of girl is on there, which 
so that one looks like that and that's basically what the tag would look like on both of them so it's really really cute because it's a nice little key it just looks like that so that's the top and then the bottoms look like this which hang on there we go there we go so we've got a black tie there and they're just pink with all their faces over them which i just think they're really really cute and I really really like them and then at the bottoms they're kind of cuffed but they've got black lace as well so yes there's them so then I got one more pair of pyjamas for Christmas and they look like this this is what the top looks like this looks really really big but it is only a 10 but for some reason it looks huge and it's just got mini mouse all over it with loads of hearts and it's really really cute and really really wintry and I really really love it and it's just so that's this kind of more of a sweatshirt style top so there's the top, and this is what the bottoms look like. They are just red, green, white, and dark blue tartan print, and they've just got Minnie Mouse all over them too. Um, but yes, there's them ones. So now I'll move on to the tops I got. So the first one I got was this denim shirt, which is like this. I have quite a few denim shirts. I'm wearing a denim shirt right now. Hey! This isn't actually a denim shirt, it just looks like one. And it's got chiffon arms. But I've got this denim shirt, and then I've got another one there, and another one hanging up over there. But this one's kind of quite a heavy denim shirt, and it's by All Saints, and it's in size small. And it just looks like that, and I absolutely love it. And I really, really love this. I absolutely love my shirts. I don't really wear blouses, I kind of wear more men's style shirts. Well, most of my shirts are men's shirts. But hey, I don't care. So there's that one, and I really, really love this, and it is really, really, really pretty. Yeah. So there's that one. So then the next top I got, which I lived in, I have washed it, but I lived in this for absolutely ages. And it's basically this jumper, and it looks like this, and it's got the Joker on it. Some people might find that quite scary, but I think it's actually really, really cool. Like that, it's got the Joker on there. And then kind of the pattern all the way down the arms and on the back. As you can see there's just dice and skulls and snakes and the Batman logos. And it is just absolutely awesome and I really really love this. So yes, there's that one. T-shirt wise I got three t-shirts. Yes, three t-shirts. The first one, which is really wrinkly because it's been in the bag. But I got a baseball style top, I think you call it, and it's just white with black arms, and it just looks like that, and it's just a baseball style top. Again, this is a men's one, it's in a size small, but yes, I got that. For some reason, I find I've got quite a lot of stuff with Batman on. I've got Batman socks, I've got Batman shoes, I've got a Batman hat, and I've got everything like that, but I don't actually have a t-shirt with Batman on. So, obviously, for Christmas, I got one, because <laughs> my mum couldn't resist, it is a men's small, I think they are out stock in extra small, I think, so I've got a small and it's black with the Batman logo and then it's completely black on the back as well, so it just looks like that. The same t-shirt, which this, the tags on this one, and this is Superman, as you can see, bright blue. Superman logo and it's got a bit of distressed style to it, which I don't know if you can see or not. And then the back is just completely blue, as you can see. So yes, there's that one. So then the last t-shirt I got is this one, which just says it's written in the stars and it just has all the zodiac signs on, which looks like that. I'm a Pisces. So I'm, where am I? I'm that one there. Um, but yes, there's that one. I even know my Chinese sign, which is actually a rabbit. So I'm a Pisces, and in Chinese, I'm a rabbit. So yes, there's that one. So then also, I got some Nike socks, which are just the plain white Nike socks with the white tick. And lastly, clothing-wise, I got two pairs of jeans, 
If you know me in real life and basically every day, you will know I only wear jeans. I never wear skirts, dresses, shorts, that's all on a very rare occasion. Um, but I got two pairs of jeans or jeggings. I prefer jeggings. Um, so I've got these ones which are size 8 standard mid-rise jeggings. These are just all black, as you can see. So they just look like that. I got a all black pair. This is my second pair of these. I already have a pair, which is and then I got these ones as well, which I really really love. These are size 8 jeggings, standard mid-rise, the same as the black ones but they are just completely grey, so yes, there's them. So now the clothes are out of the way, I did also get a pair of shoes, so I might as well throw these in here now as well. I got a pair of slippers, which just look like that, as you can see. I don't know what you call this print. They've got light pink, dark pink, very very light pink, and grey, and they just look like that. And they've got little pom-poms here. So yes, there's them. So then I also got a pair of shoes. I do have a pair of these in black. So I've already worn these once. That's why they're a bit dirty around the white bits. Um, but they are these, and these are Nike blazers. These are just the grey ones, and they got kind of like the leather look tick right there, and they just look like that. And they just say Nike on the back as well. They just look like that. I absolutely love these. I have the same pair in black, which are actually right down here. Or one of them. I have the same pair in black, so if I just show them side to side, I have one pair in black and one pair in grey now. These ones look a lot more new than these do. But I absolutely love them, I love my Nike blazers. Normally every Christmas I get a pair of shoes. Between the last Christmas and the Christmas before that, I've got Converse, Dr Martins and Timberlands. So I always get a pair of shoes for Christmas, so this year I've got more Nikes, which I absolutely adore. I wear them all. I wear my black Nikes all the time, so having a grey pair will be really, really nice. And yes, there's them. So now I'm kind of going to move on to the little random bits I got. So the first thing I got was this belt. Um, but basically this one has all the studs around the top. And it's just completely black. It goes all the way down and it's completely black. And it's size small. So yes. So I got a new belt. But I needed a plain black belt. So there's that. I also got this. I really, really, really like it. There was this one and then a Disney princess one. So it was Marvel Disney princess. I wanted Marvel. Um, as you can see, she's got all the comic books on it as well, the red lid. This one's got a very thicker tumbler as well, and it just has the Incredible Hulk there, Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, and Spider-Man. Spider-Man is my favourite out of Marvel, but yes, there's that. But then also, as a little present, you guys will see a reflection of the camera. I don't want to blind you. Oh, God. So you can see the studio light in the camera. There we go. It's basically a little mirror, and I thought it was really, really cute, and it says on it, it's all about me. <laughs> I didn't pick it out, it was a present, but it's just a nice little mirror, it's got loads of little dots around here and it's just it's all about me, it's quite girly and quite cute and I really really like it and there's that. Like I said I asked for a bag for Christmas and this is the one I got. It's already got everything in it, I took tags off, I have put stuff in it on Christmas day and it's just like that, it's just a black leather look bag, it has these little zips here which I actually do unzip, but it's just a look of a zip, there's no pockets, um, and it just looks like that and it's just black all the way around. As you can see, then on the bottom it has little silver bits as well, and then the cross the body strap and the little silver heart charm on it is just out of a Christmas cracker. But I thought it was quite cute, so I put it on there. The shoulder straps do come off; you can take them off as well. Then it's a zip, and it is a really, really big bag, and it just looks like that. So yes, I got that for Christmas as well. So then I kind of got some bath bits for Christmas and moisturisers and things like that like I do every Christmas. So the first one I got is this one, if it just focuses. And it is the Lynx Limited Edition Attract for her. I get one of these every single year, um, but it's normally in a box, but this year it's in a bag and it's just pink and white. If I just take off the cardboard bit. That's what it looks like, and then it unzips with this pink one. Pretty, really cute. And then on the inside, you get a little, is it a loofah? Not too sure, you get one of them. And then you also get the Lynx Attract for her deodorant. And the shower gel as well. Then I also got this. This is the Long Came Betty For Your Hands Only Hand Pamper Set. So you get the hands that do washes, dry, 
hand lotion, dry hand lotion again, so you get two hand creams and two nail files. And it's just like that. So there's that, which the same one also comes in that box, but now I've got three hand creams, which I don't mind. I like looking after my hands and nails, so that's good. So there's that. But then I also got this bag of bath things. As you can see, it's just pink. And it's a really, really nice pattern. It's a really, really big bag. It did come with this wrap around it. So it's the Along Came Betty Everything You've Ever Washed For. It includes shower gel, bath soak, body lotion, skin polish, shimmer bath crystals, and a bath fizzer. So that's what comes in here. So if I just unzip it. And on the inside, as you can see, just looks like that. So there's another one of these. There is... The So Much Bubbly Heavenly Bath Soak. And then a body lotion in Peachy Keen. A creamy shower wash in Peachy Keen. So these are all Peachy Keen, I do believe. So I've got that one. The Pot of Polish Skin Polish Peachy Keen again. Which just looks like that. The Shimmer Me Softly Shimmer Bath Crystals, which looks like that, and also, oh, this looks absolutely adorable in this, I think this looks absolutely adorable, and it's just a little bath fizzer, and it's basically it's like metallic-y, plastic-y wrapping around it, and it's really, really cute, so a little pink bath fizzer. So there's that. So then the, I would say kind of the last present I from my mum and dad, there was another thing to go along with this which I will show you afterwards. But it just comes in this little box. As you can see, it just says Pandora across here and it's got the little bow there. You'll probably already know I've got a Pandora bracelet for Christmas. If you follow me on Instagram, I will link that in the description box below along with my Twitter. Um, and as you open it up, it just looks like that. So it says Pandora on here in rose gold. Then it has this section, whoa, this section here which had the charm in and this bit that had the bracelet in. Now I will put in a close up shot while I talk about it. So basically I got the bracelet by Pandora, as you can see, it's just the silver one and it is 17 centimeters, which is the second to smallest. And it is just absolutely lovely, it fits my wrist perfectly, it's not too tight on my wrist and it's not too big either because I have such small little wrists. I could have got away with a 16 but I think a 17 is absolutely perfect. And then the charm I got to go along with that as you can see now is just the fairy tale book. Absolutely adorable. This was the first charm I picked to go with it. The fact that my older brother Jamie brought me the fairy on a toaster charm it just goes along perfectly. And as you can probably tell by now my theme for my bracelet is a fairy tale. So then the last present I got for Christmas which was from my mum and dad is another Pandora item. As you tell, it just comes in this little Pandora packet, and again, if I just open it up, it just comes in this little box again. As you can see, of course the box is empty, I'll put in the close-up shot, and that charm I got was the, the little teacup charm, which is the teacup and saucer, which is really, really cute, and the reason I wanted this one is because it reminds me of Alice in the Wonderland. Now, Alice in the Wonderland, I absolutely love that story. So obviously I had to get the little teacup charm because it reminded me of Alice in the Wonderland and I just think this is a really really nice start to a Pandora bracelet and it's a fairy tale themed and I just thought it's absolutely adorable and really really cute. I don't know why I just decided to go for a fairy tale theme, I've always wanted a fairy tale themed Pandora bracelet so the fact that I got one now I absolutely love it, I love it to death. And as you probably know if you watched my what I got for my 16th birthday video which was absolutely months ago. But for my 16th birthday, I got Pandora rings, as you can watch in my what I got for my 16th birthday video, I'll link it in the description box below. Um, but basically, I got the Aquamarine, Aquamarine uh, birthstone ring and the Princess Tiara ring. So kind of now, every special occasion, I get Pandora jewellery. So it's just something to have memories of for special occasions and everything like that. And I can have it for the rest of my life. So yes, that is everything I got for Christmas. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. And a very, very, very happy new year. As you would have seen on my Twitter. I did tweet out to everybody. Merry Christmas and happy new year. And I did talk to you all. And everything like that. So I hope you did have an absolutely wonderful Christmas. And a happy new year. And yes, I will probably see you within the next three days or so. Possibly. If you're watching this video. Three, four days time. New video. Tee! As you can tell, if you didn't watch my previous video, I do have a Canon camera 
which is the Canon EOS 700D or called the T5i Rebel in America I do believe. There is quite a few different names for it but in England we call it the Canon EOS 700D. So the quality is a lot better. I'm only filming with a studio light right now. I don't need the sunlight for this camera because it is such a good quality camera and I've now recently brought, as you would have seen on my Twitter as well, I brought the 64 gig memory card so now I can film absolutely loads of videos and not worry about the memory running out which is just fantastic so you can expect a lot more videos and yes so I'll let you all go now I'll link my Twitter, my Facebook, my Pinterest and my Instagram in the description box below and yes I will see you in my next video bye